Lesson 3 presents IT automation related use cases of VMware NSX. This lesson covers the following topics VMware vRealize Automation with VMware NSX, VMware Integrated OpenStack with VMware NSX. VMware vCloud Director with VMware NSX. In the IT automation category of use cases, we will first look at the lead project called IT Automating IT. Then we will look at developer cloud and multi tenant infrastructure use cases. IT automating IT means faster project onboarding with elastic services, streamlined security enforcement, mergers and acquisition. A multi-tenant infrastructure provides robust security to isolate each tenant organization and multi-tenancy for legacy apps. Developer Cloud helps you leverage VMware vSphere. It provides faster application development and brings the power of cloud on-premise. There are a number of tools that you can use to create the private and or public clouds necessary. Each tool has its own management user interface or UI and APIs. We can use VMware NSX to provide the correct VXLAN and security policies. VMware NSX can help automate a variety of cloud environments. IT automation for private cloud. This might be done through vRealize Automation or vCloud Director. Developer Cloud. This also might be done through vRealize Automation, vCloud Director, or VMware Integrated OpenStack. Multi tenant infrastructure. This might be done via vRealize Automation or vCloud Director. VMware NSX can help provide the network isolation between tenants. One aspect of IT automation is using an automation tool such as vRealize Automation or vCloud Director that supports self-service. By using NSX API, these tools can create the necessary logical switches, security groups, and VMware NSX load balancers as needed when a machine is requested. So once the machine has been deployed, it is completely deployed. It doesn't require any after deployment networking changes. vRealize Automation can use NSX API to create detailed programmable application topologies. Whether the user is requesting a single machine blueprint or a multi machine blueprint, vRealize Automation plus VMware NSX can make sure the machines are put on the correct network and added to the correct security groups. vRealize Automation with VMware NSX can use or create a web tier, an app tier, and a database tier logical switch. Then it can make sure that the machines are added to the correct tier when they are deployed and use or create the required logical routers so that the machines can communicate as needed. Next, it groups the virtual machines together based on function and defines the required firewall rules. Then it applies the firewall rules to the environment. Also, vRealize Automation with VMware NSX can use or create the necessary security groups and security policies, such as the default security group, the web security group, the app security group, and the database security group. Then it can use or create the necessary security policies and apply them to these groups. If necessary, vRealize Automation could also implement VMware NSX load balancers when machines are deployed. Once vRealize Automation deploys the machine, it is completely deployed. There is no need to perform any network administration after the machine has been deployed.
vRealize Automation with VMware NSX deploys the machine from start to finish. VMware NSX with vRealize Automation supports the dynamic configuration and deployment of VMware NSX logical services. So the VMware NSX administrator can create the necessary logical switches, logical routers, logical firewalls, and logical load balancers needed by machines deployed through vRealize Automation. Alternatively, using NSX API, vRealize Automation can create the logical switches, logical routers, firewalls, and others on demand. Next, the vRealize Automation Administrator can add the VMware NSX resources to their reservations and blueprints. The result is that all this is automated, so after vRealize Automation deploys a machine, there is no need for a network administrator to create the necessary network for the deployed machine. Once vRealize Automation is done deploying the machine, it is done. This extends to additional applications or the same application deployed through vRealize Automation and extends again and again each time using the same VMware NSX resources or creating new ones. Let us look at a VMware NSX use case where vRealize Automation with NSX API created the necessary micro-segmentation needed for the deployed machines. It created the necessary isolation for development, test, and production. The software created the segmentation needed for a tiered app web, app, and database. The software also implemented the needed advanced services for the web, app, and database tiers. For isolation, we created the necessary logical switches, and added the virtual machines to the correct logical switch and defined the firewall rules allowing and blocking the appropriate traffic. For segmentation, the necessary security groups and security policies were created and the correct security policies were applied to the correct security groups. We also defined some tags and defined security policies based on these tags. Lastly, we implemented the required advanced services such as McAfee, Symantec, Rapid, and so on for the multi-tiered application. So, vRealize Automation with NSX API can create the necessary isolation and segmentation and implement the necessary advanced services for the machines it deploys. VMware NSX with vRealize Automation supports an on-demand deployment model. VMware NSX Edge is configured using Open Shortest Path First or OSPF Protocol or Border Gateway Protocol or BGP to support north-south traffic. NSX Edge may also be configured with Network Address Translation or NAT. Next, the necessary VMware NSX distributed logical switch is created to provide east-west traffic using the OSPF or BGP protocol. In vRealize Automation, for the first multi-machine service or MMS, you can use NSX API to create the necessary logical switches and place the different machines on the correct logical switches to isolate traffic. You can also set up a distributed logical router or DLR firewall rules. This process is repeated for MMS2, MMS3, MMS4, and so on. The on-demand model is typically used for more dynamic test or development style workloads. It is particularly used when there is a requirement for overlapping IP addresses and using the NSX Edge NAT feature. VMware NSX with vRealize Automation supports a pre-built deployment model. NSX Edge is configured using OSPF or BGP protocol to support north-south traffic. NSX Edge can also be configured with NAT. 
Then you can create the necessary VMware NSX distributed logical switch to provide east-west traffic using OSPF or BGP protocol and create multiple instances of NSX Edge to provide scaling and availability. This would require a load balancer. In vRealize Automation, for the first MMS, you can use pre-created logical switches and place the different machines on the correct logical switches to isolate traffic. You can also set up DLR firewall rules. The MMS might also require one or more load balancers. Repeat this process for MMS2, MMS3, MMS4, and so on. The pre-created model is typically used with production or more static workloads, and the application topology is multi-tier on a single network. Let us now learn how vRealize Automation creates a private cloud and how it can use VMware NSX. You can use VMware NSX with VMware Integrated OpenStack to create a developer cloud. VMware Integrated OpenStack has its own operation and management tools that administrators can use to manage it. VMware Integrated OpenStack has APIs, command line interfaces or CLIs, and other tools to provision and manage workloads. VMware Integrated OpenStack supports VMware NSX. VMware Integrated OpenStack includes the following services. Nova, the VMware vCenter driver. Cinder, the VMDK driver for block storage. Glance, the VMDK driver for the image catalog. Neutron, the VMware NSX driver. This driver communicates with VMware NSX controller. This gives it access to VMware NSX logical switches. This service can also create logical switches, logical routers, and new NSX Edge virtual machines on demand. NSX Edge can provide L2 VPN to vCloud Director through the NSX Edge Services Gateway L2 VPN client. It provides the following features. SSL secured L2 extension technology over any IP network. Separate NSX Edge gateways run as server and client. Independent of vCenter server boundaries. Managed and unmanaged options. UI and API based configuration. With VMware NSX L2 VPN, you can stretch multiple logical networks, both VLAN and VXLAN, across geographical sites. In addition, you can configure multiple sites on an L2 VPN server. Virtual machines remain on the same subnet when they are moved between sites and their IP addresses do not change. Egress optimization enables NSX Edge to route any packets sent towards the egress optimization IP address locally and bridge everything else. L2 VPN thus allows enterprises to seamlessly migrate workloads backed by VXLAN or VLAN between physically separated locations. For cloud providers, L2 VPN provides a mechanism to onboard tenants without modifying existing IP addresses for workloads and applications. The L2 VPN client and server learn the MAC addresses on both local and remote sites based on the traffic flowing through them. Egress optimization maintains local routing since the default gateways for all virtual machines are always resolved to the local gateway using firewall rules. Virtual machines that have been moved to Site B can also access L2 segments that are not stretched on Site A. If one of the sites is not backed by VMware NSX, a standalone NSX Edge can be deployed on that site. In the graphic displayed, 
L2 VPN stretches network VLAN 50 to VXLAN 5000 and VLAN 51 to VXLAN 5001. So VM1 bridged with VLAN 50 can access virtual machines 3 and 4. You can create an L2 bridge between a logical switch and a VLAN which enables you to migrate virtual workloads to physical devices with no impact on IP addresses. A logical network can leverage a physical L3 gateway and access existing physical networks and security resources by bridging the logical switch broadcast domain to the VLAN broadcast domain. The L2 bridge runs on the host that has the NSX Edge logical router virtual machine. An L2 bridge instance maps to a single VLAN, but there can be multiple bridge instances. The logical router cannot be used as a gateway for devices connected to a bridge. In the diagram, Tenant 1 is on VLAN 10, and VMware NSX is bridging that traffic to VXLAN 5000. Tenant 2 is on VLAN 20, and VMware NSX is bridging that traffic to VXLAN 5001. In this lesson, we learned that vRealize Automation and VMware Integrated OpenStack support VMware NSX. VMware vCloud Director also supports VMware NSX. VMware NSX enables provider-managed services to be attached to virtual machines, monitoring, backup, and so on. All virtual machines are attached to a common service network. NSX Distributed Firewall and Spoof Guard enforce security and isolation. The diagram on the screen shows an external network supported by the provider routers. vCloud Director has defined two tenants. Each tenant has a single organization. Each organization has its own organization network that is connected to an instance of NSX Edge to provide north-south network traffic. Each organization has two vApps. One vApp has an instance of NSX Edge to provide north-south network traffic. The Common Services Network provides network communication to all the virtual machines. Finally, NSX Distributed Firewall enforces security and isolation between these virtual machines. Due to the firewall rules, one of the virtual machines in the vApp X can access the backup service, but that same virtual machine is not allowed to communicate with a virtual machine in vApp Y. Each tenant is managed by an administrator. The provider manages the common services network, the firewall, and for access to the applications.